So uh, today I figured I would show you guys how to cut up a chicken. I've got two chickens here. I want to take my time on the first one and show you each individual cut. And then I'm going to do that one pretty fast. Uh, I've got it down to about two and a half minutes per bird, two and a half to three minutes. So um, you want to start with the chicken with the breast up and you want to start with the wings. So uh, the way I'm cutting this is I want to maximize the breast meat and I want to maximize the leg and thigh. So you start with the wing and you cut down beside the breast and find that joint where the wing's at. Cut that and then come from the underside and just cut between the joint. And you flip them around and you do the other wing the same way. You cut down beside the breast. Cut between the joint to get the wing off. Next we want to take the leg and thighs off. So to maximize this, um, all this skin is coming off and will stay with the back. And so I want to pull the skin tight to the leg and cut down beside the breast. And then come around toward the back. And you want to get this muscle right here, which is called the oyster muscle. You want to come around and, and cut under that muscle so that it stays with the thigh. And then you can break the joint there. And then you want to cut as much as this as possible. So you bring your knife around, stay close to the, the backbone. And there's a the leg and thigh. And then we do the other one the same way. We flip it around, cut down beside the breast. Come around, cut the oyster muscle off. Break the leg joint. And then come around just like that. <clears throat> now we want to get the, the breast, the boneless, skinless breast, and the tenders out. So we want to take the skin, pull it down away from from the breast up towards the top and then you want to uh, flip him over on his side and cut down beside the rib cage. You want to cut here and then up toward the wing a little bit to sever those tendons. And then you can run your finger in between the breast and the chicken tender. You didn't know he had tenders, did you? And you want to loosen all that up and then you take your knife and you go up to the top and you just go down the wishbone. And then you keep on going down and you just want to run your knife along that uh, cartilage. Just like that. And for the other side you just do the same thing. You cut along the, the rib cage. You cut up towards the top and cut those tendons free. And you run your finger between the breast and the tender to loosen all that up. And then you just cut along the wishbone and then down the, down the sternum. Now all we have left is the tenders. So you wanna go under the wishbone, and come, come across, you wanna come across the sternum. There's a little cartilage right there you can cut through and then go down the side of it. And then you do the same thing on the other side. You go under the, the wishbone, across and down beside the breastbone. And then you just cut it off. Cut away from the bones. And you do the other side the same way, just cut away from the away from the bone. And then for the back, I usually just break it in half. And put it in there like that. And that'll be some good stock.